Hi, Mark Warnke here, packoats.com. I'm so excited to show you our adult soft saddle. We, by the time I get here to show you guys, it's been a long process and a lot of work to get here. And we are finally here with the soft saddle. And it's just such a simple design. Now, a lot of you already have the kid pack and the kid pack's awesome. It's super easy. It's click, 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 and you're off, right? It comes with the pannier, so you don't have any extra cost there. Our goal was two things with this adult soft pack. Number one, to give you one of the most affordable alternatives with panniers in a saddle available on the market that's super simple to use and will properly fit any goat that you're wanting to put kind of a light load use capacity on, right? That's what this is perfect for. That person that wants an adult goat that can take in their lunch in a light sleeping bag, you know, really like 30 pounds, 20 to 30 pounds, even over that up to 35. But anytime you have a soft design, you don't really want to do a lot of weight because you need so much cinch pressure to keep it from spinning. So you're still going to need some cinch pressure with this, but just not with these lighter loads. And this handles it very perfectly. So there's a couple of things I want to show you about it. Number one, when you have the panniers and the saddles on there, you're going to be able to pick up the whole thing, saddles and panniers all there, and you have this nice little carrying loop. And you're going to see why we put this there as well here later. The other thing is you're going to notice you have a double felt cinch on this and that's really important because again you're going to need some cinch pressure you have your breast collar and you have your britches and again very very simple for the 4-H'ers that kind of want the next level design a little bit bigger this is it for you and it has the affordability now the other thing is with the pannier sets that come with them and the color designs are really cool too because we kind of like the black saddle and tying in with this it looks pretty cool so you have a lot of the big pannier design capability. You have the over straps and I'm going to show you that. The other thing is with the kid pack you kind of have one set position. With this one you're going to be able to raise and lower your load on both front and back and you still have this little clip where so the saddles don't billow and flop over the top you have an attachment point. Because of the nature of this saddle and how short it is this attachment point is semi-functionable but it's still worth putting there so that you have that option. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna put it on the goat and kind of give you an example of how this one loads and how it works. And Ridge has never had this saddle on before and he's a little impatient with me because we've been filming for a little while. Good boy, it's good boy, it's good boy. Now when I'm calm, he's calm, remember? All right, so this has not been fit to him. So you're gonna see me go through fit and everything else. And we're gonna go ahead and go, oh, one more thing. There is soft on the underside and it's a much heavier fill with fill than the kid pack is. They like making noise and disturbing me while I'm doing these videos. And then we also have a rigid board on the back of this that allows for rigidity on the top and then soft on the underside which will help to carry loads. It helps to create some rigidity within this soft saddle design. So we're going to, come on Ridge, alright, so we're going to take this. And again, normally, I'm always going to load from the left-hand side. Um, but again, I want you guys to see how this functions and kind of where this is. So remember, when you're putting the saddle on, you want to be behind the front shoulder. There's my front shoulder. My saddle sits right behind it, just right. I'm going to go ahead and put it into place. And again, remember, with these designs, you need a decent amount of cinch pressure. So we'll go a decent amount of cinch pressure on this and settle this saddle down in. Now the fun part about this design is I was testing it. I did notice that it would sit based on that goat's back. It would vary this way and it has a really nice conforming fit to the goat's natural, natural um, body dimensions. And so then we'll go in with the breast collar, which by the way sits nicely as well because it's nice and high. And when it's high, it has a tendency not to drop down because you want it above this. You want it above those shoulders. So we'll go ahead and get that set right first. There's that. Now remember, these, if anything, will want to slide forward, not necessarily back. So it's more important to create more britching pressure than it is breast collar pressure, okay? So I'm gonna kinda wanna have that sit right there and always pull the tail out. Now that he's got that on, good boy, good boy. Now, we're just gonna be able to, if we wanna run this tie-down design, which I use kind of, but not all the time, um, by any means. And then I'll click this and this in. 
And that saddle's actually sitting really nice. And as far as putting panniers on, my goodness, is this simple and easy. So there. So now our pannier's set right. This one's a little high, and I'll show you what a little high looks like. So this one's a little high, higher than I want it to be. Good boy. So I'm gonna go ahead and lower this side down just a little bit. Settle that down in. I lowered it too much. That's about where I want it. I'm gonna lower this one down just a skosh as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and take this. Now, to have this work properly, this is where this loop came in. So I'm gonna kind of adjust the goat to the side so that you can see this loop. Now this loop is really important for you to notice. The reason we put this there, if we just bring these up, click these together, what will happen is these slide forward and back and they're really loosey-goosey. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually click them through this loop and then we go down here and now we hold that load. So remember the reason for a cross strap is to pick that load up off his ribs, right? We don't want that lid, that load actually squishing him. So the reason we put those on there is to lift that load off. And I'm gonna drop this down just a little bit again. There's not much weight in this, so it has a hard time hanging naturally. So you can see now, I'm gonna drop this one up. And we now have a really nice fitting saddle and a nice fitting load. I like this to sit just a little bit lower. It kept cinching just a little bit too high. And now, as far as a load that sits nicely on a goat, it's a soft saddle. It's really quick. It's really easy. There's nothing difficult about putting this on. And the cost is there. Your goat will carry it perfectly. It's aligned with the bottom. It's aligned with the top. We have containment system. If they're going steep downhill, it's held by this saddling loop. If we've got steep down uphill, it's held by the saddling loop. And here's the other really fun part, is when you're ready to take the saddle off, it's one click, and it's one click, and then we are, after the cinches, we're out and as one complete unit and ready to go. So really super simple on, super simple off, easy to fit, make sure that it's fitting your goat, comfortable, and affordable. So. The soft saddle is gonna be a solution point for a lot of people that aren't necessarily trying to go all hardcore and get all crazy and, and do a lot of different stuff and carry lighter loads. And again, are looking to go a little easier on their bank account. So I hope you like the soft saddle design. Mark Warnke with PackGoats.com.